Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I show you how to make a dramatic black and white with selective color. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sol Germany. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris. And I make not one, but two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file for this episode, a very nice raw file from Brittany taken a couple of weeks ago, and access to hundreds and hundreds of raw files from all over the world, including special promotion on all my training. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to use Tonality Pro, a new plugin that came out from MacFun, to make dramatic sepia, add clouds, all kind of amazing tricks, especially if you only have Lightroom and not Photoshop. It's Mac only, I forgot to mention that last week, but it's really cool. This week, I'm gonna take this photo and using Lightroom tools and Lightroom only, I'm gonna make a selective black and white and drama. I'm gonna show you also how to use the, the masking option in the brush and how to do that to get this final result. Okay, so let's go to Brittany and let me show you this dramatic, black and white with selective color. At the end of this tutorial, I have a presentation of my new course that came out called Landscape Retouching. Check it out right after this tutorial. Okay, so today I just want to teach you a, a really cool trick with Lightroom to not only make dramatic black and white, but also to make selective color. Uh, selective color is when the whole photo is black and white except one item. It doesn't work on all the photos. A lot of photographers think it's pretty cheesy, but I'll tell you something. If it's well done, uh, you will be uh, surprised to see how the general public reacts to it. They actually react pretty well. So, um, and I just want to show you a very fast way. So I'm going to make a dramatic black and white, and I'm just going to put everything in black dramatically except this little boat here. So I'm going to up up the shadows and bring down the highlights. By the way, this was shot in Concarneau, a very nice place in Brittany. I was on holidays there last week. Really cool place if you ever get a chance to come to Brittany in France. Okay, uh, so I opened up the shadows. I brought down my highlights. I'm gonna lower a bit the exposure to make it a bit more dramatic. And I'm gonna press the Alt key and move my white slider. Okay, and then move my black slider to you know this if you follow my tutorial. So now we've got a pretty already dramatic uh, black, I mean, not dramatic, but yeah, a bit dramatic, but not color. Now to go black and white, and uh, this is a little trick I'll show you to uh, make it a fast selective color, instead of using, you know, I could desaturate the whole photo, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I could, uh, or I could, you know, use, uh, I could saturation, like I could desaturate every color except the warm color. Uh, you know, I could desaturate the magenta, the purple, the blue, uh, the aqua, the green, uh, not the yellow because the yellow is the boat, but it doesn't work on this photo because you've got a lot of uh, uh, stuff going on there. So I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna reset this. Just double click on each slider to reset them. So I'll show you just a very fast way. You could do it in Photoshop with layers, but this is how I do it. I take a brush and I go on saturation on the brush. I get my brush to be minus 100. Now the problem is that we did this workflow of uh, opening up the shadows and bringing down the highlights. That changed a bit the color. So what's gonna happen? Well, let's put flow at 100% and density at 100%, okay? And then I'm just gonna paint with a big brush and I'm just, as I brush, I'm taking out the color completely, all right? I'm taking out the color completely. Now when I get, get close to the boat, I lower my brush, okay, and let's zoom in here. I lower my brush and uh, I want this, I don't like that little seaweed or whatever that's called. I don't like that, I'm gonna take that out. Um, make this bigger. Oh, by the way, to make your brush bigger or small, it's really good to have a little mouse with a, with a wheel uh, in the mouse, because that's what I use, I use the wheel. Okay, and as I get close to the um, as I get close to the uh, to the boat, I'm gonna activate auto mask. And what auto mask is gonna do, and this is really cool. What auto mask is gonna do is, you see, uh, in the middle of my mouse, uh, there is a little cross. Okay, it's gonna detect whatever is on that cross and desaturate that, and it's gonna avoid the red. But I, I don't like to use um, auto mask a lot because it does some sometimes some funny things. But when you want to make selective color like this, 
All right. Now let's say, okay, I did this on purpose. Let's say you, uh, by mistake, you painted over something that you wanted this to be yellow. Well, you can just press the Alt key and now your brush becomes a rubber, making sure your flow is at 100. And same thing, auto, put auto mask on for the, for, the, for the eraser. And same principle, you click, make sure your, your brush is not too big, but that the minus is within the yellow thing. And you just brush and you bring back that color, but you see how this stayed completely uh, black and white. So it's really cool. Uh, this auto mask. So I'm even so I'm brushing over the red. It's not picking the red because I've got auto mask on. If auto mask was not on, let me show you. And now I paint. It's gonna take out uh, the color. Command Z to undo. Auto mask to put it back on. So auto mask is really handy when uh, you know, like I'm just painting around the boat. And check it out. It's not doing anything to the boat. The boat is still. It's taking all the colors around the boat except the boats. And uh, now I can make a bigger brush. And I now I advise you to use auto mask only when you are very close to what you want to leave in black and white, uh, because auto mask can sometimes do some funny things. And voila! And now I'm, I'm making this a bit lower. And check this out: everything is black and white except the boat. Okay. And um, oh, and if you want to make sure you didn't forget anything, you can just go over your your mouse there, and you can see. In red, everything that's been painted. Oh, I can see a few things missing here. I can see a few things missing here and there. Again, so I'm going to zoom in, use the capability of the auto mask because I'm very close to color and making sure that's out of the way. All right. Now, as soon as you're out, out there, just put auto mask off because, I, as I said, it does some weird things. But look at that. It did some nice. Now, let's look at my mask. My mask is pretty clean. Oh, I forgot a little part here. You know, I want everything black and white except except this. Okay. Now let's let's now that we did the selective color, let's make some drama. So first, I'm gonna erase that little spot on holidays. I I was doing a lot of photos at the beach, and I think I got some some dust there. Um, okay. I want to make some drama clouds, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna lower. I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to lower this and I'm going to just make some dramatic clouds. I'm going to get this up just a little bit, just the top to close a bit the photo. I mean, there's already a lot of drama, drama going on here. Just want to lower a bit the top of the photo and um, do the same thing at the bottom. I just want to make the bottom of the photo a bit darker so that we close a bit the photo like this. Okay. And, um, I want to add some drama. I think you see this wall there is a bit laid uh, very uniformly. I want to complex the light a little bit. So I'm going to go for a little radial filter. I could do it with a brush. Somebody the other day said, why do you do it with a radial filter? Well, one, because it's a habit. Two, because I think w I can control it better. Check that out. I, well, inverted the mask. Uh, the exposure is on a little bit. And I can, I don't know, I just like what it does. I'm going to add some clarity maybe. So I'm not only writing these things up, I'm adding a bit of clarity. I'm going to right click, duplicate. I just, you know, I just like, I could do it with a brush, but I, I rather do that with this, you know. And all I'm trying to do is check the wall. Now the wall has got a more complex lighting. Now you got to do it very gently because if you do it too much, people will see it. You know, you need to do it. So it just, let's add a bit of reflection here. There's a, there was a reflection here. Now on this one, on this circle, I don't want the uh, clarity. I want to actually go minus clarity. I don't want clarity on the water because it's a high frequency texture and I think it's not very nice for the eyes. Okay. So I added a bit of drama and now I can maybe add even more contrast to make it a bit more crazy. And I've got a nice black and white with selective color, just one boat. And you know, it's this type of photo that people love and it's so easy to do with a brush and the masking tool in Lightroom that I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, I hope you're going to check out my new course on Let's Get Retouching. It's uh, really a, a nice course. I, I've put a, a lot of work into it and a lot of uh, stuff that I've never put on any other tutorials. Anyways, let's get back to me. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm happy to announce that I have a new course coming out called Landscape Retouching. This course is a bit special. It has really all my technology on landscape retouching in Lightroom and in Photoshop. 
Some of the projects are going to be very easy, just Lightroom and Lightroom only. Some of them are going to be digital blendings, pretty easy just using layers. Some of them are going to be more advanced using Luminosity Mask, a very cool advanced technique for hard situation of blending. In all, you have 10 projects. There is 20 RAW files. I have also a special release discount if you purchase this within the next days. All right, mesdames et messieurs, here you have it, my landscape retouching course. I hope you love it. And I will see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.